Hello everyone, Seth here, and welcome to another episode of playing Path of Champions daily. And we're gonna start by opening this reliquary because I have enough stuff to open it, yeah. And it's gonna be... That's really good. If they have a subtype, plus one, plus one. This is this is one of the better items actually in in the in the game, I think it's since a lot of champions uh, base on having overwhelm with with troll kings. I think this is pretty nice and it's really good on Nico and I'm gonna equip it right now because I've previously added that here. So that's nice. And today's are weekly adventures. I'm not sure if we're gonna do all of them at once, or just like maybe the first two ones, but we'll try. So we got a one and a half star, we got a two star, and a four and a half star. So this one is the one I'm most excited about, since it should be a really good farming spot for at least some of the champions, especially ones that can like ignore enemy units. But for now, let's go with uh, with Zed, actually. So this is Phantom Pranks. All players summon a Phantom Prankster. There are a few champions that really like it. And one of them is Evelyn, one of them is Mordekaiser. Nasus, to some extent, I guess. Fresh, also. I haven't really played the new Fresh that much. So I might go for it, for this uh, challenge. So let's try it. Obviously, sometimes it doesn't work nicely. So let's go for it. So I've seen the uh, response to the latest video and you people have seen to enjoy my commentary. So we're gonna keep on doing it for, for, the, for the next videos. It doesn't take that much time for me to, to do this, I guess, so I'm, I, well, I'm gonna do it. That's it. I will, however, be leaving in like a week or so, meaning that I won't be available to, to record something for 31st and the 1st. So I'll probably just pre-record something and... And it should be fun, I hope. So, uh, I've also seen a bunch of different comments about either having, uh, like, opinions or stuff like that. So, someone asked me if I can talk about the card design in Legend of Runeterra, and I thought, you know what, yeah, sure, I can, I can talk about it. Uh, so, I personally really like how the cards are designed in LOR. They they do tend to feed into each other pretty nicely, so like encroaching mists. The game tends to have a lot of different build arounds, either in intention, intentionally or unintentionally. Which does like allow for different decks to be viable. Which is always nice to see. And... Um, I do have a few gripes with the, with the system they're currently doing champions with, because a lot of the times they, they tend to create a champion, they, they tend to give it a cool mechanic, and then we don't really get anything else that uses that mechanic, which... Understandable, they want to bring champions to to LOR to, to be very similar to either their league counterpart or their lore counterpart, which is really fun to see and really nice. But still, I do kind of want to see more champions feed into each other uh, design-wise, so maybe like having more daybreak champions, because we only have one right now. Or maybe having more champions that care about uh, spawning things. Because, you know, spawning is obviously an Ilawis thing and that's that's how it that's how it works. And there isn't really another champion in League that does that. So maybe 
like the exclusive champions that they release could also do that or you know that's like just like the last expansion they released morgana about curses we we don't really have anything with anything else to do with curses right now other than, than morgana maybe maybe we'll get something like that and i i really hope we do because uh obviously there is a fine line between pre-built decks like darkness and having like multiple options so swain and well swain for example uh well none of these choices are really good for fresh i should have probably went with uh, with okay i'm gonna go Kalista. i should have probably went with uh aurelian solder just just to try pulling him, pull him out also my support champion from hysteric which i guess can work it isn't easy adventure so it doesn't really matter what what like impactful choices i make here but yeah so as i was saying uh, i would really like to see more champions fit into similar design spaces but maybe like approach them differently and oh i should have replaced this Oops. so that's that's kind of my, uh, the main point but at the same time having variety with which they do every expansion is is really good and this kind of also ties to path of champions because a lot of the designs uh, that we see on champions is are uh, they are very unique so we either uh, we either get unique powers that are very specific to to a champion like say Lawin that gets uh, spawn on attacks uh, but at the same time we also get stuff like very very generalistic Uh, very generalistic designs like Swain, for example, that are great for support champions that really want to deal damage. So, Ani, maybe. And obviously, there is a fine line between these. Between, like, making rebuild champions, as I said before. Uh, but I, I really would like to see some some of the concepts that they that they introduce like be be a bit more expanded on just like for example nora got released and the portal mechanic was basically only on on her as a champion mm, what else well that that's basically the the gist of it so i think the I, they do like really cool designs for champions but i kind of want more champions to have similar themes with each other or at least work with each other in 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 fun, fun ways uh, yeah but at the same time having pre-built decks is it's also actually pre-built decks are actually also fine they are they are really nice for for new players especially and for people who don't play path of champions for example mm. oh yeah also maybe on the on the topic of design uh, i do kind of wonder when we would get older champions from either path one or from from like from the main game basically <laughs> well this is the main game but, you know y you know what i mean from the from from basically ladder because for example i really enjoyed stuff that wasn't present in in path of champions and i kind of wish they would bring it back one day Obviously, I understand that game design and especially for, for someone like Riot, they have like pipelines and 
They obviously cannot do as much as they as they could before, especially with like the budget cuts that happened. Mm. Beauty and life. And at the same time, some of the champions that do get released are kind of kind of weirdly designed. So. The biggest example, recent example, is Elder Dragon's deck, which before level 20 absolutely sucks. And I, I really didn't enjoy playing it at all. And I'm not sure why, why they designed those decks like that. Obviously, decks do need to have some variety in them. Because otherwise, you know, they would they would play the same every time. But at the same time, I think they should they should actually add uh, like change some of the older decks or in include like a bit better cards in them. Because uh, again, Elder Dragon, uh, they start with blow. They start with a bunch of ramp, but their two biggest units outside of Elder Dragon is a Scout Dragon, the 7 mana 6 6, I don't, I forget the name, and they also included Kadagreen, which gives plus one plus one and Challenger, which are, yeah, those are fine dragons, but at the same time, in the same expansions, we got uh, the dragon that shares buffs with every other dragon on your, on your board. Or we also got uh, the, the the elemental drakes as well, having, uh, for example, cloud drake, six mana, six six, reduce the cost of units in hand. That would be perfect for someone like elder dragon. And I think the same also, yeah, the same happened with Thrash on release, where his deck was weird. And it lacked a lot of like tools that Fresh would actually want to play. And now that Fresh got reworked, it obviously got a bit better. But it's it's still not the best. But it's but it's worth worth playing it at least right now, especially with the new powers. Yeah, another thing, powers. Some powers are absolutely well not good. For example, uh, Nasus, who's to start obviously gives mana, which is which is good, but then it gives minus one and two to to an opponent and nothing else. And if you compare it with something like I don't know, well, basically almost every other champion in the game, it kind of pales in comparison. I think the same was also with Orn. Orn, Orn is also one of the one of the weaker champions in my opinion in the in the game right now. Obviously in Path of Champions. Because his support items his his powers are really mediocre and his and so is his support uh, support package, so like uh, well not support package. Uh, you know what I mean. I'm talking about uh, the deck, the starting deck. Obviously, it's yeah, it's kind of sub far, which obviously yeah, that's it's fine to have some of, some weaker champions that maybe are a bit more of a challenge to to complete. But at the same time, there is a clear power creep in in champion powers, champion starting decks, and stuff like that. And the, the the thing they did with Fresh, amazing. I hope we get more of these uh, these updates. And um, because a lot of champions do tend to lag behind with with their with the stuff that they release, especially new champions. Like I did the video with Morgana that can just solo. Aurelion on level 5 and someone else did it on level 1 with, you know, just...
with on an already I saw the boss that someone did it on level one, which was uh, very impressive to be honest, so Okay, it doesn't really matter, but Okay, that's that's the end of the match. Uh, yeah, it would be nice to see some of the older first design champions get bumped a bit. Stuff like Vi, who like game star draw to two cost cards, that's really nice. But then you get plus two health and plus two impact, and it's okay. It's nothing to write home about. So I hope POC does get a bit of a bit of updates, especially to to the older champions or the champions that are weaker. And. Yeah, and also I hope we do get a bit more champions from the older pool or the pool that was never in Path of Champions. Because some of some of the older designs were also pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so, and this run is going very well. It's it's very simple. It is a one and a half star after all, so I don't really have to explain a lot of things here. Just play units, go for go for the face and win. And getting the phantom pranks at the beginning does help to turn down the clock quite a bit. Mm. What else can I talk about? Oh yeah, I've seen a comment that apparently I'm uh, I'm like taking a lot of time with the series, and that's for a very good reason. At the beginning I shown you that I've opened the, the capsule with with an epic relic. And let's be real. The delay on between these is four weeks. And if I want to have every relic, so complete this game by 100 percent It's gonna take a bunch of months. So I don't need to really hurry up and I can just keep recording this stuff for for months, basically. And once they add more epic relics, it's gonna take even longer. So yeah. And yeah, there is there is also a precedent precedence to uh, not adding stuff to Path of Champions. Well, obviously, it's it's not good to not add stuff. You do want the game to keep growing and adding and adding new content, obviously. But at the same time, new players, I I. I've spoken to a bunch of new players and they do have some issues with, with how much content there is. And believe me, I've been playing Path of Champions 1.0 and this version will basically from the very start. Well, I've been playing this game since open beta. I did have like a few breaks in between, but they weren't really that high, that, that, that huge of breaks. So. Again, be, some people will not be even able to, to get all the content in in this. We have like 52 champions right now. And getting that much uh, dust, especially with uh, with the changes to Stardust, it's it's it can be kinda tough for a new player to to get to get everything. Obviously another thing is that maybe you don't want you don't want play your players to have everything because you know you still bring a lot of content anyways so it doesn't really matter that much if you do but yeah uh Another thing is if uh, yeah, an another comment I saw is that someone was asking about uh, relics for beating Aurelian Soul with every every champion, and that's something I'm planning to do. Not not right now, obviously, but once I uh, once I beat everything with everyone, once everyone beats. 
or rather no. Once I pick every champion and that champion beats Aurelion Soul, yeah, I can I can obviously update the, the spreadsheet, add, add some new content to it. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Wait, is it level? Oh, it's four. Oopsie. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, looking at the time, it's 20 minutes. It's fine. We can we can probably do all, all four challenges since even though the last video was pretty long, you all seem to enjoy enjoy it despite its length. So let's yeah. I can I can I can probably finish all of the adventures, all, all of the weeklies today, and then just upload another run tomorrow. Uh, uh, what else? Yeah, uh, another thing. I'm very excited. Once obviously it can comes out, and I hope it does come out sometime soon. Uh, there is supposed to be a winter event. Uh, on like, I'm not sure when, but it's supposed to be like an end of winter celebration. And I'm guessing this is when Lissandra is going to be released. If you don't know, Lissandra is the next uh, is the next boss in the in the Freljord region. So so we will be getting that after after some time, I guess. So I'm wondering when that will come out. And yeah. Mm, so I'm pretty pretty excited excited about that. There, there is gonna be some. I, I do. Apparently, it's gonna be very hard, and I hope it is. And I hope it's gonna be a fun, a fun place to, to, to fight. And I wonder what kind of, what kind of powers, obviously, that of that challenge is going to have. Mm. What else? What else? So, again, we are at the, well, we are at the boss, basically, right now. And it hasn't really been that much of a challenge, especially since this, this fresh is level 28, so, yeah. You would, I wouldn't really expect to have, like, a lot of issues here. Cool zero, zero, zero strike. That's good. That's really nice. We can clear that. It's gonna. It, it will be blocked anyway, so might as well drag it. Again, zero damage. Very nice. And the one one, which doesn't do anything. I am the blade in the darkness. You can challenge this. Attack. And like thinking. Oh, actually, yeah. Uh, one thing is champions that I really want to see in Path of Champions as, as like... Oh, actually, before I talk about that, there is an interesting president with support buckets and champions. So when ED was released and, you know, his deck is as he as it is, uh, the support bucket actually, I think, does have Cloud Drake in it. Which I was I was quite surprised about, since like okay yeah you get you get ED obviously you get and you get the one free that gives you a dragon to hand, which yeah that can generate uh, the big unit makes sense, and there is also Cloud Drake and I'm I was very surprised that it's in the bucket but it's not in the but it's not in the 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 deck starting deck itself. 
which yeah makes sense which which, which is which does it make sense actually I, i'm kind of confused on this i think it, i think if the deck and the supporting items should like and supporting buckets should correlate with each other a bit um because you know it would be kind of weird because you pick up elder dragon and then he has cloud break in, in in his bucket and then you look at the deck and it's not there okay weekly two it's unflinching strength so noxian cards and heal falls nexus three so no pings this time no deaths uh, i could probably go for a darius i could go for mardekaiser as well I could go for Samira. Samira has a lower level, so I might as well pick her. Oh yeah, and one one other topic, since I've picked Samira, and there is a precedent uh, against changing uh, champions in POC versus balance changes in um, versus balance changes in in like lore in general, because you know. Samira got nerfed, obviously. Uh, Flare is too. Challenger is only on Samira, stuff like that. And obviously, this changes how champions play. It changes how. Well, what am I even looking for? Let's pick bouncing blades. So obviously, it, it sets up. Uh, it obviously people are not happy about like nerfing champions that they've spent their stardust on and then it's nerfed and well it it's bad it feels worse to play like for example last last time i was recording pike and i've uploaded a video on pike pike is fun for pike is cool and hmm, okay let's play this then I can drop this. Why bother fighting if you don't look good? So obviously, uh, Pike Pike got nerfed, right? He went to five cost. He's he went from two three, I think two three. I think he was a two three to a to a one three, and it does like impact Path of Champions as well. Uh, because some of the champions like would are like become way way weaker to play and there are no compensation buffs for for the path for example so if you like you if you for example are a new player and you don't have every champion unlock and you unlock pike before nerfs and then he gets nerfed it's it's a bad feeling and Yeah, it, it's a, it's a really bad feeling for for people to just like get their favorite finally in in this mode because obviously now you have to grind orange stardust or or you have to get lucky to to even get and get the things you want with with the introduction of stardust. So it does it does feel bad to to have stuff like this happen uh, and many people are saying that maybe if there are balance changes for uh, for like the game so mostly mostly obviously aimed at, at ranked so some changes obviously got aimed at path of champions Darius for example which Darius originally had uh, if enemy nexus has 10 or less life but now that the path of champions got released he got buffed to half uh, powder pandemonium is okay especially with a discount but yeah so there are people who are saying that maybe path of champions should be a bit more separated from the main game and i'm not sure if i agree actually i think that having different costs on on cards in path of champions and on in in ranked or like or in 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 like pvp obviously uh i think it's a i think it's not a good idea uh if anything i feel like 
maybe instead of having separate costs, so maybe let's say uh, we get Pike, Pike gets nerfed, maybe instead there is a compensation buff for Path of Champions with an item, for example, maybe you uh, Pike now starts with with an item, or maybe like the deck gets improved slightly, or maybe there is an extra item in the level laps that you do for champions. Um, Scribe of Sorrows is really good, but I don't think I need it. Actually, let's go for it. So yeah, maybe I think key, let's like have the balance uh, work on everything. Have both. So make have, let have changes for both modes at the same time. However, uh, you can you for example get some like extra buffs on top of the of, on top of the changes that would hit like the normal the normal mode. And I would say this should mostly apply to champions, obviously, because like if a uh, if a unit gets changed, then I I don't think we really care about that. Like if this, for example, would become a one-one instead of being like the base one-two. Uh, oops, wrong. Yeah, this is base one-two, but maybe let's assume this gets nerfed to one-one. I wouldn't. I wouldn't really. I think it wouldn't really affect that much on its own. But obviously, if a champion gets changed, then. Yeah, maybe some kind of compensation buff for for the deck should be should be in order. Since well, at the same time, the other part of this argument that is maybe there shouldn't be any buffs because it's it's mostly a PvP experience. It's a for fun mode. But you know, people do want to play with with the cards that they that they get or the or the decks that they unlock. And that's also an important point that I think should be considered. Oh, double Indari. Spicy. Never underestimate a Nazi. Never. Oh yeah, I picked a warning shot with draw so I can just play Samira and get get more of those. Bang, bang. Yeah. So that's that's kind of what I've been th thinking about recently. Uh, and yeah, that's kind of it. Oh, another thing that uh, does pop up from some time from time to time is that there is a uh, fifty. Well, shot limit right now on on the uh, on the orange essence, obviously, or however it's called. Uh, it's wild fragments. I said it, whatever. And how oh, that's really good. And um, either there should be a way for. I think there should be a good way for a player that un already has unlocked everything to to have a way to spend it. Or at least have a way to disable the the the, the glow on the on the path of champions uh, button because it, it's annoying. Whenever I open open LOR, I just see it, like uh, seeing seeing the the thing to say, oh yeah, just spend 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 your fragments, but I have nothing to spend them on. So yeah, it's it is it is mostly a minor nuisance, but. Four damage. Neither the flames nor the deaths can claim me. Don't ask for permission or forgiveness. Please and quiet. <laughs> my mama would love you. I'll take my time. So Don't hold anything back. I want. Yeah, a way to uh, a way to spend wild fragments would be really nice. 
even if it's on something like that doesn't really matter, like I don't know a a log or a cosmetic or a small cosmetic for like not even for a card. Just like having a badge that yeah, I, I can spend I can spend wild shard on this because I I can and that and gives absolutely nothing still. Something something to spell in the, the wild shards on would be really nice. That's great. Uh, I don't have enough money for this, so let's go for the chest. How many cards do we have in deck 30? Let's let's go for stylish shot instead. And let's cut out pandemonium since I don't think I will be using it at all. Oh yeah, I also tend to just randomly click on the loadout button just to see if I haven't equipped a skin. Which I still forgot about equipping the lul skin yesterday. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Mm, anyways, this run has been going pretty great. Great, I got a bunch of good powers and items, and damage has been going through the roof. Which is what Samira does want, right? It's like get big units pretty quickly, or or like get enough damage to to just kill your opponent in a single turn. Well, that's that's kind of how POC always was. Let's be honest. Let's remove the blocker and just kill him in one turn. You die slow. I'll show him pain. I'll show him pain. Yeah, yeah, pretty easy so far. Let's make the next mission riskier, huh? Mm. Okay, let's let's get back. I was gonna talk about what kind of champions I wanna see in in path, and I do have like a few a wish list of a few of them. Main main one is I would like to see Nora get added because I really like portals. They're 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 a fun mechanic. It is a bit problematic in. In like ranked, obviously, because it's free units for nothing. But in the fun for fun mode, obviously, it could it could lead into some interesting results. Maybe a power would increase the the cost of the units that you get from the portal, or maybe or maybe something else. There, the possibilities are there. There is there is a lot of yeah. That's that's also another thing. There is a lot of possibilities for. For, for things to get added, for things to, to be added to, and I'm not sure if it's always delivered on. Uh, like, yeah, obviously uh, with stuff like starting decks or powers. Stuff like that. But at the same time, there are some really good designs in, in Path. And and I can't really deny that because that would be in disingenuous from, from me. So in my opinion, LOR is doing fine. It could be doing better obviously, but it's 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 doing it's doing well. And I can't really hold anything against them. In in any regard here. Uh, what else? About oh about a uh, non POC stuff. I do really am waiting on when they finally add the drafting mode because expeditions were really fun. I really enjoyed them personally. And I hope, and I hope it's going to be interesting. Oh yeah, remember expeditions? Those are the times. Okay, I can burn this, I guess. So next round is thirteen. I don't have the attack token, but I can just get it with all the stuff that I have in my hand. And repeatable draw from warning shots. 
which has been pretty useful so far. And how far away? D. So 2 out of 6. 3. 4. 5. 6. It's always fun to, to have champions like these. Where you just get rewarded for playing as much card as many cards as you can in, in a round. It's, it's fun. So again, Nora, one of the one of the car one of the champions I do wanna see in in Path of Champions to have to have their own deck. Uh, another one would probably be Caitlyn. Although now, although though we have Timo, oh that's good. Although we we already do have Timo, so Caitlyn would probably need to have a different way of getting a win condition. Let's get more Okay, that's not good, but this is. Uh, let's get a spell chest. Maybe I can get another item for for the shooty. <laughs> Warning shot, yeah. Oh, and there's stylish shot that I forgot I even had in this deck. Because I haven't seen it in a, in a bunch of runs recently. Because I haven't seen it in a while. Huh. Okay. That's okay. Let's let's first deal with this. Oh yeah, another fun thing. Barrels and like this spell deals X more damage. They they scale also on on this item, which is really fun. And I didn't expect that at first, but it does work. So that's cool. I'll take my time. I'll take my time. Uh, yeah, so mostly Nora. Caitlyn, Caitlyn could be fun. Uh, please let me play something bigger first. Move it, Green. Think on your feet. I'm not paid to think. I'm paid to act. And look good doing it. Mm. What else? Uh, Poppy. Poppy was in was in Path of Champions one, and having a wide go wide board is is always pretty fun, as is as you can see. Well, obviously it's mostly taller than wider, but you know the drill. No problem. But yeah, stuff like that. Uh, Fizz is also not in, but I don't really think Fizz would fit. We already have a bunch of spell singing, uh, spell singers, mastery, listening, and stuff like that. Nora, Nora would be quite unique since we don't really use portals at all here. Well, except the the item, which I remember back when it just crashed. Crash the game if you if you drew a portal on, on turn one, those were the good days, or bad days depending on how you feel if you felt about it. Uh, oh yeah, the the deathless black thing. I I wonder why they didn't fix it when the when the first uh, when the first update released a few. I think it was a few weeks ago, like two or something like that. Uh, maybe they didn't. Well, I, I guess they did probably know that something was up, but I don't think they they knew how broken it was, or they don't didn't know how to fix it at first. Or maybe the reports came in too late. They obviously have a pipeline of patches, and they can't really get all of them done at first, like at the same time. 
jumped away from death. It was the job choice, which is why you called for me. Um, let's just keep blade, blade edging there. Their nexus, just to deal funny damage, and maybe warning shot. Oh, yeah, let's get barbell fish. Pilfered good, sure. Let's let's steal their cards. Let's just let's just keep on drawing. Test of spirit is also nice. We will be leveling Samira this turn. Uh, let's play another warning shot. Jagged Butcher is, is good. Don't hold anything back. I won't. So yeah, mostly Nora Poppy. Maybe maybe Caitlyn. There was there was another champion I really liked. Action could be an interesting champion for for Puff. Because we only we only have him as a support champion and he's really good as a support champion anyways. Uh, what else? Well as I'm focusing on the game it's a bit harder to, to figure out what, what exactly or who, who exactly should should get added. Uh, maybe maybe Rumble? Like, uh, my higher levels are pretty cool, and they're really nice as a, as a support package for someone like, uh, like Nico, for example, or maybe Heimerdinger get get tech and turrets. That that could also be fun. But we do already have Lux, and so I don't know. They, they obviously when they were designing like the first batch, they wanted to include like multiple different champions so that makes sense but then as they started releasing some champions did start to cover each other like with the with the stuff that they do but it's obviously like it's it's better to have new stuff be released into POC than have only old stuff be added because other otherwise you you do get behind with this Mm, no level up. Okay, so those two are down. We also have the four and a half star. This one is pretty interesting. Uh, extra mana gem. Uh, each round they would die. They get buffed instead. Uh, I think this is only on the first one, am I, if I'm correct. The first time, yeah. So I could look at some of the lower levels. And either ig I ignore the the powers and just to just go for the nexus, but I feel like I do want like a stronger way to deal with them, or play someone like Ash and just freeze the board and attack go for the nexus. Uh, well, Ash is level twenty two, so I might as well. Oh yeah, uh, relic choice of on, on Ash. I've been doing this. And Blade Rack is really good. Orb is is very helpful personally. But I can, for example, see going. Uh, where is it? Relics, yes. But I can, for example, see people going Archangel stuff with. Uh, where is it? Counterplan. So you you just get a free freeze every turn. In addition to your power, uh, Death's Foil is also could also work. Uh, Gauntlets, not really. You would need to have both Orb and something else, or have uh, two Warhammers to to bring you to eight them to eight power. And I think that's a bit too much of a commitment. Uh, so let's go for. Yeah, let's go with Ash. Let's see how much it's gonna, how annoying it's gonna be, and how much, how much experience we're gonna get. If we get around the same amount that we get from Aurelion, then it's gonna be good. Okay, we got a legendary power, but I think this power absolutely sucks, and I never pick it. 
Uh, little buddies could be okay. But I think we can we can roll for something better. None of these are better. Let's roll. Uh, Stash is probably one of the better powers, but not for Ash. Evolution is very good, especially when combined with, with Ash. So let's pick Evolution. We are gonna have bigger units. A lot of a lot of units for uh, in like in Frelior do have either keywords or they get keywords somehow. That's a bad start. Let's keep a flash freeze on hand. That's a really bad start, but it's fine. Okay, it's it's a bit better. We got the sentry. And they didn't get a 2 drop. Obviously them having more health is is gonna be more annoying. So yeah, this time I'm gonna be focusing more on the on the game. Since it's a it's a higher higher star adventure. Interesting choice. It will trade it will proc the power, but it's fine, especially since it does get improved. And now everything gets plus one plus one. For for nothing. Evolution evolution is a great great power. Okay, so nothing here can block, but I can hmm. I could do this kill kill the five four. Uh, I think in general I do want to buff up my units. And this will die as well. Because it's only once per once per uh, once per turn. Oh yeah, another thing. This power, for example, is so it's interesting. It's it's not it's not strong. It's more of a it felt more of an aft, like an afterthought. But it does make uh, something like uh, blade rack more viable, which I do like. Ash goes up to, to level up. Oh yeah, I remember I did uh, Aurelian Soul just as just after the just after Ash got nerfed, basically. Yeah, and it was an interesting experience because it wasn't it wasn't that much of a nerf to be honest. It was it was still pretty much very playable. Mm, okay, let's just get a big overwhelmer on the board. And and the lethal because they can block. Yeah, that's good. It's not going badly, so over. that's good. <laughs> uh, so normally when I when I do videos, I tend to record a video for a day, then like quickly edit it and upload it. And sometimes, like for example with with weeklies, I tend to spread them out. I I oh see there it is Elder Dragon. Cloud Drake, which is not in the main deck, and this is an also not in the deck, which I was very surprised about. Uh, in this mode, Leon could work. Let me check. I, do, I only have Alpha Zaur for this. Or rather, Alpha Wild Cloud, not Alpha Zaur. Leona. Leona is a fine choice here. It's higher stats and it's it's two stuns, basically, so it's it's gonna work well. Mechcaster. Okay, that's that's way way easier than plus three plus zero. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, I mostly record those videos in the same day as uh, as I play them. But sometimes I do like to pre-record uh, episodes and have like some day off. Obviously, I still play in the in the background, and then I just upload, like update the. No, I can't even talk into that. And then tend to upload uh, uh, multiple days over. The trap is set. Like I did with, like I that that's how what I mostly do with. Uh, 
with weeklies. I I do them I do all of them in one day. I record and uh, I record them separately. I add. Well, I don't really add anything. I just spread spread them out between few days. Does this hurt me? It does. It's okay. Okay, so one issue I'm currently running into is that they spam a lot of units. And I can't really do that until like turn 5. Uh, sure, let's do it like this. And let's keep on adding more more units on the board just so I can work on work on dealing with this. It's an Ash level up. But yeah. Uh, recording one day, spreading out the, the uploads into three different days. Playing in the background, just updating some info while while I'm at it. That's a pretty sweet crystal arrow. Although I don't have stats to back it up to be honest. So let's just freeze this. Uh, Avalanche is is pretty annoying, and it doesn't even kill anything on their board. Okay, let's play a free two, and we're gonna start dealing with with the board. Okay, that doesn't matter. So pull this. Actually, I can pull this like this. Take two. Pull this. Actually, let's pull this. Pull this. Here. Pull this here. So this will get frozen. It doesn't really matter, but it do buff my board, which I feel like this deck wants to do more than than not. Just like slowly stack up, stack up buffs. I didn't get shared spoils, so that's kind of sad. But it's not the end of the world. Let's let's get. Oh, that's <laughs> that's absolutely useless. This is also annoying. But they can't ping our nexus anymore because I've I've removed the zero five, and they can't really attack into us. So it's 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 okay. It's not the best, but it's not going badly. And I think uh, this is thirty two. So if I crystal arrow here. Yeah, Leona. Never mind, it's Freezer. Which they do tend to run. So the question is, I think we can, we should still start removing the stuff that they have on the board. Uh, okay, this can get buffed. And the rest can just get removed. You do want to keep like draw alive but still deal with the rest of the world and we can plunder for it. That would have been better earlier. That doesn't matter. But yeah, now they have a useless I use less unit and I can freeze this. Ash will get something. Plus two plus two is fine. And now uh, it's an open attack and we win. Yeah, we are we are nearing the the one hour mark. So again, longer video again. Next time, next time I'm gonna upload a, a shorter run, I guess. 
Since this been going for a while and people are messaging me on Discord. Okay, that's really nice. Rhymefang is really nice. I, oh yeah, I wonder why they didn't include it in, in the base deck as well. It, it could have been really fun to just have to just have it. Since it does scale very well. I feel like they don't really want to add like very powerful cards to to the decks, but you know that's how it is. That's 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 how they tend to do it. They 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 do want to include a bit weaker cards in in, in there as well. A really good starting hand. Just replace one archer. Ash, really nice draw. Let's just play. Par. Fine. I wonder how it works with. Oh, it will probably just give them an extra unit. Yeah. Because this tried to die and, and didn't. So that's a little bit of cheese here. I can kill anything on, on the board though, so if they, if they they attack, they they lose anything. Yeah, and this works as well. This this just gets removed. I can drop a Nash. I can grab this since it's gonna get first bite. And I can kill these. The upside is that the, those decks don't really have anything expensive in them. Well, except that, but it, it's still just a 5-5, so it doesn't really impact the board that much. So we can start filling up the board. For each time you first beat an enemy in this game. So this will probably get upgraded. We probably can't go for little yet. Although we can try. Um, let's get a Yeti. The stories were true. And let's freeze this. This this freezes the, the entire board this way. And let's see, okay, I can destroy the entire board. Or I can deal 47 damage, and the choice is simple here. This doesn't kill anything, it doesn't even heal them because they are at full health, so... Yep, that's that's how that's how you kinda wanna play Ash. You want to either deal with their board first, through Frostbites and the power, or you wanna freeze the entire board with Ash on board on your side and, and win. That's the idea. Mm. Harsh wins, really nice. I do have enough for a shop, so let's see if we get something cool. Overwhelm, base overwhelm, really nice. Uh, we can get caught in the cold as well. And we can upgrade this with a predict item. Not Tilos. Uh, this doesn't matter to me, so let's work on this. We can probably cut short spells. The draw is not that important in, in, in this, in my opinion. And I get plus 4 healing because I'm level 22. I think? I think it's 22. Uh, this is good for a start. This is a great start, just replace this. Keep the Wild Claw. Flash Freeze, also really nice. They do start with free mana, but it's not an issue. They will play Nautilus earlier. But I think that's fine. Let's freeze this for now. Dredgers too. I think this game will go down to to meal. Although they don't they don't meal after after they, they reach death, so deep, so It's gonna be interesting. Let's let's stun. 
Nautilus is not coming down and Okay, that's that's annoying. I am that's annoying, yes. Can't really attack into that. So let's wait up. Let's just take it slow. Let's freeze this. Because I don't they they don't really need to draw at the moment. And let's play a Rhymefang. Rhymefang is, is really is really nice in this in this um, we do want to kill these two. So they will toss two and heal two. Uh, the life doesn't matter, we want to build as huge of a board as we can. And we can definitely outpace deep. They are six away, they will be five away now. This also gives challenger to the, to the hawk, so it's gonna be plus one as well. And there are two things that I can kill. And there is something I need to try. Does this die? It doesn't. If this attacks, I... Okay, I can do this, and this. And pull this, and all of this will die. And I think I should do it... Yes, like this. So this will damage this, it will trigger, it will die. Uh, this kills this and this trade and I think I can do a better job of that I can do this throw this, throw this this way my board survives this this doesn't matter right now that draw, that tosses, that tosses there at 18 there is another removal which is annoying but it's fine they will they will run out of their their cards faster than than we we do so genuinely I can correct correct so this how do you deal with this this we will deal with very simply with Rhyme Fang unless they go deep this round but I think we can. Can we prevent this? No, it's 17, so if they... No, we can actually just keep blocking here. And unless they have a... Uh, they, have, they have a toss. What did they toss again? If they shouldn't have. Okay, that's gonna take a bit of thinking. So this will be a 13-13. Which doesn't really matter right now. Uh, what we can do is challenge something with Ash, challenge something with this, and this goes to the end and dies. Let's deal with the with, let's deal with the biggest problem first. And I have frostbite on multiple multiple units, so it doesn't matter. They can play another. Uh, terror is annoying, but I think it's doable as well. Let's start by drawing first. Fearsome doesn't matter because most of my cards can block. This is really good for us. If they can just toss their, their cards again, it, it's gonna be way easier. This also gets first bite, so they, it, they won't attack with it. So they don't want to reduce power. Uh, trade here. Trade here, keep this alive. Block here, block here, and I can frostbite this. So Alpha Claw survives, and I can frostbite this. I could have also, f I can also frostbite this actually, just so I don't take unnecessary damage and the rest can trade easily especially since I got region from one of the uh, one of the f uh, one of the flash freezes and they can just keep on tossing so regardless of what they do I should be able to win this without any without much issues this will get frostbite that's great uh, 
Let's play a Pack Mother because that's a 17 6. Harder could be annoying, especially if they get deal 5 to the entire board. But I think at this moment we can just win. So, first bite this. It will first bite only one thing since they have more than 3 health. Rainfang doesn't really matter. Uh, but we can attack. This will freeze the 8. This can get challenged here, this can get challenged here. Doesn't really matter. But that's enough for Lito. Okay, I got a, I got a dream something. Talking for an hour 30 does make you thirsty, huh? Well, it's 1 hour 10, not 30. I should have, send, I should have said 13. Oh, whatever. <laughs> and... Let's pick up Regen just, just for real. And not generated from anything. Uh, this would be annoying since it's for damage. This is fine. Let's see what the rewards are. Stabilize? That's... That's pretty nice. Oop, sorry about that. I don't know if you heard it. Uh, Stabilize does help out, but I don't think I have champions that really care about it. It is a really good power though, so let's let's pick it up. Uh, this doesn't matter, so let's go for gold. And that's a mighty fine start. Let's let's keep all of it. I have Solari for, for turn one and Bird to follow up. There is the Ash. War Chiefs don't matter. And I have a 5-6 on turn two. And they have a 4-2 that they will attack with. That's fine. It is absolutely fine. Need to get a second Sunhawk. That I will play already. All right, let's Sculptor get does not matter, so let's play an Ammon Hawk. Inspiring Light, slightly annoying. Not the end of the world, not big deal. Uh, I don't want to lose the Sunhawk yet, so... They will get buffed, it will get frozen. All right, let's Sculptor. Get okay, so I do have to play Ash. I will get two copies, that's nice. One of them will probably have to block... Oh, interesting. I thought they were gonna go for, for Tana already. Uh, let's trigger their power first. And they can't attack anymore. Okay, so Frostbite, this will be at 3. We can play Den Mother, which will be a 5-6 and an 8-8. Eight, eight. Doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. We can attack, but it doesn't... They, w they will be able to block. So let's, let's think about this strategically. I can pull this, trigger, trigger the passive. Or I can pull it at the very end and kill it. Uh, there aren't really targets that I need to worry about. The frostbite will go on to the 4-4. So we can grab it here. We can grab this here. We can kill this, kill this. Trade with this and deal damage to this. And this deals with most of the board. I lose only one unit, and I think that's... There probably could have been a better attack, but I'm not sure right now. Next round, it's obviously another freeze. And this, 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 this fight should be in the bag. Uh, 
Especially since I can follow up with harsh winds or I can just crystal arrow. Let's play an Onomen Hawk first. See what they wanna do. Okay, they wanna reduce the cost, but it's fine. I can just block this. And they don't attack anymore. No, round start, I just win. There isn't there isn't much to talk about here. Freeze everything, they can't block. Easy damage. A new will rise. Oh yeah, also I think this expansion has been pretty interesting in terms of design and bugs. Uh, so curses, right? Curses are programmed in, in a pretty weird way because they count as enemy cards. So you don't you can't progress your own swain, you can't progress uh, stuff that deals damage uh, over time. Maybe for example you want to play it with plunder and it doesn't work. Now starting gearheads really good. Uh, item chest generally you I always pick champions. It's it's generally just better to have more items on your champions since you also increase their number. And that's a pretty good start, so let's pick it up. Drawing gosh. Getting lucky. Yeah, starting with two four fours is way better than starting with nothing. <laughs> Obviously. So yeah, picking evolution was the correct choice here. Uh, this can die, so it. That's a pretty interesting and annoying combination of powers. Luckily, I can I can basically just ignore it, since it's only on attack. So I can frostbite this, get a unit. Uh, none of this matters, so a free free can block this. The rest can just open attack and kill this on its own. And this will just get frozen. Great Assessor, drawing zero cards. Everything gets buffed, nice. Yeah, I personally feel like uh, Blade Rack can be a bit underrated when, when people talk about relics. It's really good for, for stuff like, for, for champions like Ash especially. Or someone like Nico, where you do have to think about your attacks and blocks. Okay, so again, open attack, uh, drag, drag this. I can just drag out the small units. This will trade. Uh, this will not be lethal, but those attacks are pretty much ideal. Dealing free damage, extra free damage here would be at 31, so it doesn't really matter. And this, actually this was lethal, because this was 3 and 2. So that was my mistake. If this was ASOL, I could have probably died this turn, but it's fine. That doesn't matter, I can just frostbite these. Get a flash freeze to hand. Get a moon silver, I guess. And this will trade with Ash, and this can be blocked by anything, basically. It doesn't die, though. I forgot. Uh, let's get Harsh Wings again. Reduced. I for decades, and you call on me now. So this is... Yeah, that's that's it. It was, it was around longer than I... Uh, because of a mistake, but it's fine. Um, no. I'm, I'm gonna deny you the satisfaction of, of killing this and get a buff. Now begins a new era of peace. Yeah, we are almost done with the with the weeklies. It only took one hour twenty, and it's gonna probably take another five minutes on, on Swain. Uh, Flash freeze with Hero's Horn, really good. Getting another Liana would have been fine. Okay, that's nice. That's really nice. Black Cleaver, double stats, very easy pick. Uh, I think at this moment I can actually just cut 
Ravon, since he doesn't really give me that much. Compared to like the mother or Harshwins. Okay. Damaged units. So this is where blocking probably comes into into play way more. And another thing is I'm going to have to be careful around uh, Leviathan. Because this deck most likely has it. Uh, I think I want Den Mother first instead. Flash Freeze, really nice. Even if I miss now and I don't, really good. Then I still have enough to, to deal. Okay, let's pass. Because they always tend to play like one or two units on, on round one. Getting Deathless here... Oh right, I forgot it's from an item, so it doesn't work. Yeah, I really wish they would... Uh, they would uh, fix this bug a bit faster. Yep, here is Swain. So I'm just going to... Hmm. I can attack, I can do this. They will block, they will deal for damage here, doesn't matter. It would die anyways. It will die, it will not respawn because funny. And now they have a one health uh, swine. Which I will use as well as I can. Surprisingly they didn't play Leviathan already. Which bodes really well. And Challenger is going to be key for, uh, for picking up the, the picking of the swing. We know the price of prizes of conquest. Uh, okay, so here, here. Region will go off, that's good. Do I care more about Legion Veteran or do I care more about the 5-2? And do I care about the 5-5s? Five Probably not. Uh, this does make Swain level if I kill this. So let's let's still uh, break through the board, anyways. So the worst thing that can happen now is a Leviathan, which I can deal with. Uh, these units will sadly die at the round start, but I can generate two more using then Remfang. Or. I can I can play uh, what's what's the name of it? The guy that generates a yeti and the, and the frostbite. But I think I'm gonna go Rimefang because it gives way better stats and I can I can do some really good challenges. So start the, with this now here and here. Which deals with both of the both of the big units, buffs up my my good units. They will probably replace Wayne, or not. They seem to be just emptying their hand, which is absolutely fine. I have I have harsh wins. Uh, Rainfang still survives, really nice. Uh, let's let's harsh wins this. Get get Rainfang on top and then Equinox. Equinox is pretty useful too with, while dealing with this. Uh, this is 11, so I can. I think the bigger challengers and this, which deals direct damage, are more important right now. And it buffs pack even though it's still going to die. Just bite this. Battering Ram doesn't matter, they didn't attack with it. A free two, and they have one card in hand. Which I don't know what it is, but we'll probably find out very soon. If they don't break, they'll burn. This doesn't matter. Taking taking damage obviously reduces my score, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, I can just frostbite the entire board here. And 
and they don't even play anything, so that's it. That's the run. One hour twenty-five minutes. I'm I have a I have a timer on the screen. Life speed, really good. Now we rebuild. And these are the runs. So, a bunch of talking uh, about like different topics on the game. And it gives 4470. I think that's the same as... Oh, it's A. A is also decent. I think that's the same amount of XP you get from Aurelion, or Aurelion gives like 4.5, but... You will see a correction on screen, it's okay. Uh, anyways, thank you for watching, this has been pretty fun, and I hope you'll enjoy. Let me just open this up. Yeah, 100 Stardust. And with that, I leave you be. See ya!